What's going on YouTube? Chiasno right here. So in today's video we have some important things to talk about a very big bug that has been identified in the jailbreak community and fixed in the jailbreak community. This video is brought to you by Anytrans, a software that allows you to manage the information on your device like photos, music, videos and so on and also manage the iCloud data. Check it out in the link below, there is a free version available for you to get for both Windows and Mac OS. So a couple of days ago a security researcher posted something about a very important Wi-Fi bug that can permanently disable any iOS device's Wi-Fi by just joining a public Wi-Fi called like this or something similar with this percentage signs in here. So this is a massive bug and fortunately it has been fixed in iOS 15 beta but not on 14 and as they post in here another photo their Wi-Fi is completely grayed out and they can no longer enable it after interacting with one of those hosts and resetting the network settings does not help and apparently they did contact the Apple device security team but have not heard anything from them. So this bug seems to be a very bad sanitization for the Wi-Fi names on Apple's part but unfortunately the bug is pretty serious because of course it can render your device useless in terms of Wi-Fi and as you can see they say in here that resetting the network settings does not guarantee to restore the functionality. So this is a very powerful bug but the jailbreak community was pretty fast on releasing a fix. So this developer in here released Wi-Fi name bug fix which prevents the Wi-Fi from crashing by malformed name. So as you can see they posted in here that is compatible with iOS 13 and newer on iPad iPhone and iPod Touch and it's completely open source which is actually great. The tweak itself is pretty easy to use, it's pretty simple, just prevents the malformed names from destroying your Wi-Fi functionality but this tweak is a must have for anybody who is running iOS 13 or 14. Unfortunately this fix would only work if you are in the jailbroken state. For example if your device is jailbroken with Checkrain or Uncover or something like that you would be able to use this but you have to be jailbroken. There is a permanent fix which does doesn't require a jailbreak. They found one in here and the security researcher said quote, thanks to this person and this person here, I now have Wi-Fi again. To restore Wi-Fi functionality you have to manually edit an iPhone backup and remove the malicious entries from the known network's plist file. So that's pretty hard to do, you would have to create a backup, those backups can be encrypted, you need to know the password, but even if it's not encrypted you need a program that can basically edit those files because the backup itself is just a collection of folders containing some random files but not exactly that plist in any folder. So you would need a program that can open the iPhone backups and you would need a program that can also open plist files, especially if you're on Windows you would probably need plist editor. So it's pretty complicated, then you would have to restore that backup and pray that you didn't break anything by editing the backup and then maybe you would have Wi-Fi again. It's a pretty nasty bug but if you're jailbroken you don't need to do any of that, you can just install Wi-Fi name bug fix and this one would fix the problem for you. And if it ever happens while you're in the non-jailbroken state, there is this fixing here by editing the iPhone backup, however it's not easy to do and I may do a tutorial in the future if many people show interest. Now the Wi-Fi name bug fixing here, the tweak itself is available for you to compile yourself if you don't trust the developer here, but yeah it's now available and it's a simple tweak, as you can see very very simple tweak to fix one of the biggest bugs on Apple devices. Yes Apple did fix it in iOS 15 beta, but how many people do run iOS 15 beta right now. It's not exactly a very popular version because it's still in beta 1 and of course it has tons of other bugs. So many people are running iOS 14, 14.3, 14.4 or even iOS 13 for which this is going to work. Compatibility iOS 13 plus. Do keep in mind that this would work on the A12, A13 and A14 devices as well so you are covered. The repo in order to get this tweak is available here. It's https tweak.mario.net.ia and that's basically where you can find the Wi-Fi name bug fix. So yeah, props to Carl for posting about this bug and raising awareness about this bug. It's a pretty bad bug and I would definitely advise you to avoid public places Wi-Fi in the future, especially if you're running a version that cannot be jailbroken right now. For example 14.4, 14.5, 14.5.1, 14 14.6 or 14.7 and so on. Especially on the A12, A13 and A14 devices, you can really get your Wi-Fi broken and it would no longer work. And definitely pay attention to what networks you join. As you can see the format of the malicious networks starts with the percentage sign, so do not join any 
network that has the percentage sign in there. That's basically a known vulnerable network that is trying to break your Wi-Fi and anybody can do it. A friend of yours can basically create a new hotspot, name their device like this and you of course would join it and your device would be bricked, would no longer have Wi-Fi functionality. So be very cautious what Wi-Fi network you join if you don't have the Wi-Fi name bug fixed. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.